केरला बीफ बिरयानी और मलबार बीफ बिरयानी और कलसरी बीफ बिरयानी सो आई गॉट हियर अबाउट वन किलो ऑफ जीरा राइस दैट इज वन किलो अबाउट फाइव कप्स सो आई हैव वॉश्ड इट एंड सोक्ड इट नाउ फॉर अबाउट थर्टी मिनट्स यू सोक इट एंड दिस इज अबाउट वन टू फिफ्टी ग्राम्स ऑफ बीफ सो क्यूब्स so i'm going to marinate that with some garam masala and ginger garlic paste turmeric powder and salt so this garam masala i've got here one teaspoon of uh, uh, couscous one star anise one uh, stick of uh, small stick of uh, cinnamon five uh, cardam green cardamom one teaspoon of uh, fennel seed and about uh, six cloves so i am going to make uh, grind it into a fine powder and some of it i am going to use it to marinate that after that i'll make a ginger garlic paste of about 5 cloves of uh, garlic and a small piece of ginger make ginger garlic paste and add about 2 teaspoons or 2 to 3 teaspoons to the beef little uh, garam masala turmeric powder and salt and marinate for about 30 minutes then we are going to pressure cook uh, pressure cook that so i'll come back to you now so uh, salt three teaspoons of uh, garam masala the ground garam masala three fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder or one teaspoon and ginger garlic paste about 4 teaspoons mix all this well and marinate for about 30 minutes put the remaining ginger garlic paste back into the jar and then add about 7 green chilies Six to seven green chilies, and make into a mixture. Keep a pressure pan uh, on the stove, and add the marinated uh, beef pieces and little water, and pressure cook it for about uh, three four whistles. Add a little water. Close it. Put the vessel and let it for about three four vessels. Deep pressure cooker and add about uh, three tablespoons of uh, ghee. Ghee is hot now. Add uh, the. spices so i got 1 uh, teaspoon of fennel seed about 15 uh, 20 peppercorns and uh, about 7 8 of cardamom green cardamom about 10 cloves uh 10 cloves about 1 uh, 1 and 1/2 inch of uh, cinnamon and one star anise so i'm dropping it in the hot for a minute and then more about 10 15 seconds and then i'm dropping the rice grain rice and frying it for a few minutes then i'm going to add uh, this is one about 5 uh, cups of rice so i'm going to add 8 cups of hot water of it and uh, about 1 cup of uh, beef stock here yeah, the boiled beef is it the stock and then uh, as the pressure uh, the the steam starts coming from the pressure cooker then i'm closing it and then pressure cooking is for i have fried the rice now now i'm going to add this 8 cup of hot water and 1 uh, cup of beef stock and 
and little salt. About one teaspoon of salt. Now I'll mix it well. When the steam starts coming out, but I will put the weight and for about 3-4 minutes on slow flame and allow it to uh, come to a whistle. After 4 minutes, I have removed it from the store and keeping it aside for about 20 minutes with the whistle on. Place a vessel on the and add about uh, three tablespoons of or four tablespoons of ghee and when it's hot add the cashew nuts about half cup cashew nuts that is fried once the cashew nuts are fried then you add about half cup of raisins and same vessel and then I'll add the mixture of ginger garlic and green chili and after about 30 seconds you add the slice 4 sliced onions and let it add little salt about 1 teaspoon of salt And let it fry in it nicely for about uh, it will become golden brown for 20 minutes open it the rice is uh, done now transfer it to another the rice is uh, nearly done you can just Take it aside and uh, after we are going to do in layers once the beef is ready. They are slightly brown. So now I'm going to add one teaspoon of uh, pepper powder and uh, turmeric powder about three four teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix it well and then we will add about uh, tomato mix well and let it cook on uh, medium flame for about 5 minutes open so the oil is separated and then add the uh, about uh, half cup of beaten yogurt mix well now the ground garam masala add uh, 3 tablespoons which are remaining mix Now add your uh, little coriander leaves, about one fourth cup, and a few chopped mint, about two tablespoons. Now mix. Now add the beef boiled beef mix well then add the remaining gravy and allow it to cook in that for about uh, 10 minutes
keep checking the beef. If the beef is not cooked, uh, add more water and let it cook. Now the beef is cooked. So I am going to now make layers of the rice. Now I am going to add some of the beef. Then the rice. Spread out the rice. Now sprinkle some fried onions. This is ready made fried onions from the supermarket. You can uh, otherwise uh, fry some uh, sliced onions and let it become dark brown and then uh, remove it on a paper towel and use that. So I am putting some fried onions. Now, little coriander leaves, <coughs> chopped coriander leaves, little mint, little cashew nuts, fried cashew nuts, little raisins, fried raisins. This is uh, milk, hot milk. Uh, I put uh, some uh, saffron strands. I'm going to pour on that little. Now the next layer. Again, some more fried onions, saffron. Remove the and then the final layer is remaining. If there is less meat, you can make only two layers or more meat depending on how many layers you've got. Whatever is remaining. Now you put in the final lot, the saffron water. And final lot of tea. So now we will close it tight with foil. And closing it with the lid. So that the steam doesn't escape. So I'll keep it for about uh, five five minutes and then put it off. You can serve it with the uh, raita that is uh, cucumber and uh, yogurt or just uh, tomato, yogurt, 